Israeli MP concerned Iran's troops may remain in Golan's alongside Syrian army Moscow, Sputnik, member of the Israeli parliament from the Zionist Union party Senya Svetlova in a comment to Sputnik on Friday expressed doubt that the Iranian advisers and allied militias left Syria's south alleging they could be fighting alongside Syrian troops on the Syrian territory of the Golan Heights. I would prefer not to rush into conclusions, let's wait and see what will happen at a time when the Syrians will entirely take control of their part of the Golan Heights. Media reported that the Syrian army, which was weakened during the war, is heavily relied on the Iranian military support. We were assured of the withdrawal of Iranian troops from the Israeli border, however, de facto, the Iranian militia and advisors may be in the ranks of the Syrian army, including in the Golan Heights, Spetlova said. She stressed that for Israel this would be absolutely unacceptable and considered as an existential threat and an act of aggression. Earlier this week, Russian Presidential Special Envoy for Syria Alexander Lavrentiev told Sputnik that Russia took into account the interests of Israel managing to attain the pullout of Iranian units 85 kilometers, some 53 miles, from the Israeli-Syrian border, which was completely liberated from the terrorists as the Syrian provinces of Suaida, Dara and Kanitra are now under Damascus control, according to the Syrian government. Israel has long been seeking to persuade the international community to take a tougher stance with regard to Iran, in particular, to revise the nuclear deal with the Islamic Republic and to eliminate its alleged military presence in neighboring Syria. Earlier this year, Israel attacked what it referred to as Iranian forces positions in Syria several times, citing aggressive actions by the Iranian-backed militia in the Golan Heights. Both Russia and Iran are the guarantor states of the ceasefire regime in Syria alongside Turkey. Also, Russian forces have been supporting the forces of Syrian President Bashar Assad in their fight against terrorism and providing humanitarian assistance to the Syrians.